Welcome to Looking Within, a podcast for the spiritual explorer in each of us. I'm Julie. I love to explore the inner life using contemplative practices, and I love to help others to do the same. In our time together, I hope you gain a sense of hope, meaning, joy, and love. As a Christian spiritual explorer, I hope to offer some thoughts to help you see God's presence and activity in ever-expanding ways. As you listen, ponder, and experience the divine, feel free to use the spiritual perspective you are most comfortable with in our practice today. Now, let's begin. In the last two episodes, we visited about two dimensions of our lives that bring meaning and purpose into each day. These dimensions can be thought of as concentric and expanding circles of love. At the very center is communion or intimacy with God. It's a space we need to visit on a regular basis, for it's there that we hear the voice of love telling us that we're a beloved son or daughter of God. A deep knowing of our identity as the beloved of God and we each equally possess this identity, is the launching pad for the next concentric circle of community, which we talked about last week. Community builds on the rich and wonderful inner circle of communion and joins us with others to listen to the voice of love together. Even better, in community, we become mirrors for others to see their belovedness. Then a flywheel of love, acceptance, and inclusion is set in motion, creating more community where new life can be born, where new friendships can grow, and where guests can be welcomed in to a home of beloveds. That's so beautiful. But in the writings of Henry Nouwen, as he describes being God's beloveds, he reminds us that community is not a safe little home where we hide out from the world. Jesus, in his ministry, called the community together so it could be sent out to the world to proclaim good news, to heal and encourage, to love. Jesus himself modeled this and invites us to go to the poor, the sick, the dying, the little ones, and to those at the margins. Jesus modeled ministry to others, the third concentric circle of love that flows out from communion and community. I know that Nouwen's choice of the word ministry utilizes a word that we may not encounter as much anymore in mainstream culture. It's still somewhat used in the church world and contains a bit of the original Latin meaning of servant. When you minister to someone, you take care of them. You tend, look after, nurse, or treat them. You attend to their needs, and for Christians, When we care for others, we represent Jesus and become his hands and feet to watch over, lift up, and strengthen those around us. If you picture a diagram of our three concentric circles, as love flows out from our communion with God, into community with others, and into ministry and on-the-ground care for others, it strikes me that there would be arrows continuing out from the third concentric circle of ministry— For each of us, as we live out these expanding circles of love, these arrows would extend out infinitely, reaching out towards all of creation. Through our words and actions that bless, uplift, and provide care for others, love will accumulate, connect, fill in spaces, and then overflow with love and care to humans and all of creation. Never underestimate the power of the smallest act of kindness and care. A smile, a door held open, a quick email or text of encouragement, they all add up, and they help tip the world more and more towards the loving and peace-filled place that we all long for. Today, let's use our minutes of quiet just to envision and feel ministry. In this quiet space and time, I'd invite you to gently close your eyes. I'll sound the Tibetan singing bowl, which will call you to look within. 
As you're listening to the bowl's reverberations, take three deep breaths. Then let your breathing return to normal whenever you'd like. Hear the sound of the bowl now. Let it center you. Let it remind you that God is here with you. Communion, community, ministry. How wonderful if we can love and experience all three. Intimacy with God, plus being with others, plus being sent out to the world around us. These expanding circles of love help us to discover the voice that calls us and everyone else the beloved of God. Paint a picture of ministry to others. See love, inclusion, care for the other, actions that meet basic human needs so that others can experience the love and life that connects all of us and creation. Is your mental image a light and warmth that envelops everything? Is your image that of hundreds or thousands of kind and caring actions occurring all over the world at the same time? Can you see and feel a world where ministry and tending to the needs of others is continuously filling space and time, overflowing in abundance as it multiplies and comes from all of us. See and feel this wonderful image. And I'll be back with you in about three minutes.
I'd invite you now to take a few deep breaths in and out, in and out. Let these breaths fill you with strength and energy. Hear me sound the Tibetan singing bowl, and as the sound of the bowl reverberates and slowly dies away, you can gently open your eyes, remaining still for a moment longer. I so enjoy our weekly time together, and I hope you do too. Perhaps it's a form of ministry if you feel moved to share this podcast with someone you think might enjoy and benefit from it. Though the word may be infrequently used, ministry, or caring for others, is increasingly on our minds as we ponder the survival of the human race. Knowing ourselves as we do, we can see that we become fatigued and burned out if we try to serve and love others from an inner life that is not connected to the source of love, to God. But when our words and actions flow from the intimacy of communion with God and meet up with the words and actions of others living out their divinely gifted belovedness, then the world becomes an increasingly loving place filled with ministry where the needs of all are noticed and tended to. Thank you for making time for your inner self today. Whatever you've discovered and experienced, carry that with you in the coming days. You can find more episodes at our website, Gloria-Day, that's D-E-I, dot com slash looking within podcast or subscribe through your favorite podcast app. We'll see you next time.